Flowgate is a centralized system for collecting data across your data center, whether we're talking about your asset management or your data center infrastructure management system. So it collects all this data and then it passes it along to tools like vRealize Operations. And it also does a lot more, and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute here. But first I wanna call out that Flowgate is an open source tool developed by some of our very talented engineers here within VMware. And while there are a number of integrations available out of the box with Flowgate, our intention of keeping this open sourced is to let the community help us to grow this product because there are so many different DCIM, CMDB, uh, we could even expand this out to IoT, right? There's so many providers for all of these services here. And by opening this up to the community, we can really expand the reach that Flowgate has into our data centers and beyond. And Flowgate's not just collecting data and merely shipping it off to tools like vRealize Operations. It's actually making relationships between the data that's coming in and the objects that are within vRealize Operations. And we'll get into this a bit more uh, once I show you the Flowgate UI. And so out of the box with Flowgate, it can integrate directly with Enlight, PowerIQ, Infoblox, LabsDB, and you can see here that IBIS is in the works. And then again, being open sourced, really open this up for any facility system or IoT, for example. And of course, this coming from VMware, there's support for vCenter, vRealize Operations Manager. And again, this is opened up to uh, the community to develop further integrations. So very excited to see where this goes. Now, there are a couple different ways to install Flowgate. So if you're comfortable with compiling your own code, that's an option, right? If you're modifying Flowgate for your own needs, uh, you can do that. There's also a binary here to install, but if you're like me and you just want a nice easy way to get this deployed, there is an OVA and this is kept up to date uh, available on the VMware Flings site. So just do a quick search for Flowgate and VMware Flings and that should take you right here to this page to get Flowgate deployed. And so here we're taking a look at my Flowgate deployment in our lab. And I have this connected to a number of our IT systems. So you can see the number of servers, PDUs, and cabinets, right? There's a lot of stuff here generating data getting consumed by Flowgate. So these objects are all coming from our various CMDBs and data center infrastructure management systems. Whereas down here, these are all the servers that are getting pulled in through vRealize operations and through vCenter. So you can see there's just a lot of raw data coming in here. And what Flowgate's going to do is start to map these out. And if we take a look at this visual representation here for this one vCenter that we have within Flowgate, we can see the vCenter over here on the left and my ESXi hosts on the right here, as well as our switches. Okay, and so Flowgate has already started to make these connections that, hey, this server is connected to this switch and it's also connected down here to this switch, right? Then if I scroll down a little bit further here, we can see the PDUs and very similarly, we can see the power connections from each of our servers here to the various PDUs within our data center racks. And all of the connections are configured up here. So if we take a look at our DCIM connections, we can see we have data flowing in from Enlight and PowerIQ. So Enlight is giving me all of the temperature and humidity data throughout the data center. And PowerIQ is feeding me power usage from each of the PDUs. And this data is then correlated with data coming in from our CMDB. So we know exactly where each server lives within the data center. And then we also are again pulling in objects from our vCenters and vRealize operations, which is configured up here. And the real magic behind Flowgate is in here with these server mappings. So Flowgate's going to try and automatically connect the uh, CMDB data and the DCIM data to objects within vRealize operations. So down here you can see this ESXi host and the object, which is coming from vRealize operations, and then the asset name, which is coming from our data center facilities systems. And so the asset name matches what is in vRealize operations and therefore the connection is made. Now, if it cannot make a connection, you can go in and you can manually edit these configurations as well. So if I go up here in actions, we can change the mapping of a server asset manually. Obviously this isn't ideal, but we understand CMDBs aren't always 100% up to date like they should be. So that's why we have this option available here. All right, now let's switch over to vRealize operations. 
And we saw how Flowgate connects to vRealize operations to query all the objects. But in order for vRealize operations to get data from Flowgate, we need to install the management pack for Flowgate right here. And once that connection is made, we can see that data within vrops. So if I do a search for that B1612 ESXi host here, and if we go into the metrics, we'll be able to see the object relationships. So right here is our ESXi host, and then we can see the cabinet that it's in, the PDUs that it's connected to, as well as the network switches that it's connected to. So if we go into the cabinet here, we can see all sorts of properties, such as, for example, the capacity. We can look at and see how many rack units are available, and in this case, there are two. We also have some location information. So if I wanted to see what building, what row it's in, what floor, right? All that information is here within the properties. Now, if we go to our PDUs, let me expand this out, and we can see both PDUs that our host is connected to. And we can see metrics such as obviously power. Uh, so we can look at the total current load on this particular PDU. And then what it can do is I can actually click on my red PDU up here, and we can look at the same metric so if I go here and go into total current, we can see that things are balanced between our two PDUs within this rack. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna close this out and let's take a look at the switches. So if I expand this, there are three switches that our host is connected to. And under each switch are number properties like the manufacturer model, serial number, as well as the location information like what we got with the rack. But what's also cool is these metrics and properties are part of the host system itself through this integration. So if I go down here, I can look at the environment and I can see what the, for example, temperature and humidity are. So let me look at the temperature of my cold row and then the temperature of my hot row here. And of course we have our PDUs as well. So I can look at the metrics for both of my PDUs, such as the power consumption and the voltage. And because these are metrics like any other, we can do things like metric correlation, we can do reporting, we can do alerts based on these. We can also leverage the troubleshooting workbench. So if I take a look at this host within here, on the left hand side, we can see all of our object relationships for the scope of this particular troubleshooting exercise. So I've got my host system here, my cabinet, the PDUs down here, and of course the switches, right? These are all within scope of this troubleshooting. And so over on the right hand side, we can see some anomalous metrics. So for this particular PDU, we've seen a significant drop in the number of amps that are being drawn on it. So chances are something got unplugged from this rack, but you can see how this could be useful. So for example, if all of a sudden my temperatures in the data center started spiking, I might start to see CPU throttling, which would cause performance issues. So all within this one tool, I could really draw that relationship from the physical you know, environment that the servers are living in back to really the applications that are running in it. And because all this data is being pulled into vRealize operations, we can use things like dashboards. So for example, here I could look at a heat map of all my PDUs. I can get some summary information, properties about all the PDUs, and then see which PDUs are being hit the heaviest as far as power load and uh, usage. But maybe I don't want to look at dashboards and look at metrics. I want vRealize operations to tell me when there's an issue. So that's where we could leverage things like alerts. Right? So if I do a search here for PDU, we can see that there are alerts for when the voltage is too high or low even, right? That could be a significant problem that we want to know about. So this is just a really quick look at what is available between Flowgate and vRealize operations to give you true visibility into the environment that is your data center.